Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video I'm going to be taking an in-depth look at Android Auto in my car. Now the car I've got is a Seat Leon 2017, although it doesn't really make any difference because Android Auto is the same in any car. Um, so what we're going to be doing is looking at all the different settings, what you can do with it, how it sort of helps make it a lot more convenient to use your phone whilst keeping your eyes on the road because that's the whole point of it really so what you're looking at now is the main sort of home screen it's kind of like Google now on your phone um, but arranged slightly differently just to make everything a little more convenient to use so on your home screen it's it uses this, the cards method like Google now does on your phone you can see there we've got the weather, any sort of messages that have come up. Uh, you can see I've got one there from my brother. So you can click play and... David I want it says, camera photo, do you want to reply? No. Okay. I will uh, send a message later and show you how easy that is to do. Um, but for the time being, we'll just sort of go through all the menus and see what it's all about so first things first you've got these five icons down here that one's your map which is google maps um you've got your phone button there that's your main menu button and that's your music and that one just takes you back to your main sort of car interface which for the record is that so we'll go back into Android Auto and we'll work his way along. So first thing is Google Maps. You click that there and it it's in dark at the moment. Normally it's light but because it's getting dark it's sort of dimmed everything down a bit so it doesn't sort of strain your eyes when you're driving. But from there it's quite simple really. You could anything you can do on your phone with regards to Google now you can do in the car it, it passes everything straight over so we'll click that navigate to asda showing results for asda so all you have to do is just click any of those click the navigate button and you're on your way um what have we got in here then so you can turn certain things on and off traffic I always like to leave that on, why not? Um, click on there, I'll show all, all the recent places that you've been to, or you can filter by categories. So next we will go into phone. Now in here you've got, it'll show all the uh, recent phone calls that you've made. And you can click on any of these and it'll show all the different uh, numbers that's associated with that contact. You, you've got access to your voicemail. You can dial a number straight from the home screen. We'll go back out of that. You've got call history, your missed calls, etc. So that's a home screen. Now you, you've got access to music, which is basically any sort of, um, well, I, I, the only ones that I know that are supported at the moment, it's Spotify and Google Play Music, because they're the ones that I've got installed on my phone. There probably are more that are available, but in this example, we'll be using Spotify. So we can open the Spotify app and from here, Again, you've got your recently played, your library, which basically takes you to playlist recent songs that you've played, um, stations if you've subscribed to any, albums that you've. That's a bit tricky. Um, any albums that you've recently played, and same again with artists. So, let's say we'll go back out of that. Um, 
if you use Spotify, it's pretty similar to it does everything that the app does it's just arranged in a slightly different manner um, to make it a little easier to use whilst you're driving there is one thing to point out though when it's different now that i'm not actually driving but when you are driving android auto does know that you're driving and it i don't know the exact number but say if you if you're floating through you'll open spotify click recently played click a playlist you might be scrolling up and down um, and it'll probably allow about 10 clicks before it'll pop up with a message saying that it'll it basically stops you from navigating the menus because it is there to try and make it convenient to navigate and get tasks done whilst you are driving but again it does realize that you're spending a bit too much time on it and it disables that so that you yeah sort of um, doesn't keep your eyes off the road for too long it'll allow you to do a few clicks and just you know here and there so you can quickly get something done but if it realizes that you are doing spending quite a bit of time on it it will disable it for a, a certain amount of time so just to point that out um, and let's see what else you can do so if we say go back onto the main screen um, I've got a button on my steering wheel which activates Google now I can just hold that down and it opens it up there or you can press the microphone button up here so say if well I'm sure you've all messed around with Google now quite a lot by now um, let's see what's the weather going to be like tomorrow Tomorrow it'll be mostly cloudy, with a high of 2 and a low of minus 2 degrees Celsius. What's my agenda for tomorrow? No matching events found. Okay. What about Tuesday? Hold on, what did you need to know? You have one calendar entry on the 27th of February at 7.30pm. The title is Morrison's Delivery. Yeah, we've got to wait. So, yeah, you, that's just a small insight into what you can do on Android Auto. I mean, the possibilities are... Um, yeah, I don't think there's much more that I can really show you. I mean, it, it's quite basic in terms of how it looks and the interface and everything I guess that's how it's meant to be it doesn't really want you to spend too much time swiping and tapping everywhere to get something done it's mainly all spoken so let's try and send a message to my brother send a text who is your brother? David What's the message? Send me a text. Here's your text to David. I want it. Send me a text. Do you want to send it or change it? Send. Okay. Message sent. So, as you saw there, quite easy to send a message. Um, hopefully, he'll reply back very soon and yeah we can see what it looks like when a message pops up and take it from there so as you can see it doesn't just um, pop up with your missed calls your messages um, whether you navigate in fact I'll just show you that one so say we wanted to navigate and I will just pick a random place up here that's another thing you can do you can just float around the map long holds long press wherever you want to go to click navigate and there we go it's currently showing you the uh, the route to take you can select different routes head by, south east on millbeck approach towards backside view just by clicking on the uh, the different routes there now whilst that's running if you do click out of that it will keep you updated on the main home screen with regards to uh, your next turn and and whatnot, um, 
so yeah that's that's with regards to navigation same again like anything else you can ah, unlike anything else you can't just swipe that away you do have to go back into the maps and cancel navigation although i'm pretty sure you, you should can... reach your destination yeah yeah I'm head sure. southeast on millbeck approach toward backside view i would assume if you were to say cancel navigation Stopping navigation. That's another way to do it as well. So pretty much, if you can say it, it'll do it within reason. Um, and yeah, I'd say that is probably about. Well, I've covered the basics there with regards to Android Auto. Um, if I do think of anything else, I'll be sure to. Oh, what do you know? We've got a message. So. I could have just clicked that or you can um, tap on the notification or you can actually say read out my recent messages you have one message plus four 692 says thanks for watching do you want to reply no okay well, like that message said, thank you very much for watching and I'll be sure to be posting more videos up soon. Anything that you want me to cover, just leave a comment and uh, I'll get one posted as soon as I can. Thank you very much. Until next time, see you later.